Hello everyone, this is the second part of object and classes. We already have discussed what how to create class, what is an object and attributes and methods. So let's now move forward. Now today we are going to start with the init functions. So what are init functions? Basically to uh, define an init function you have to write underscore underscore init underscore underscore. Please guys note that there are uh, two underscores here and then we have to write self. We have already discussed what is self. It just called the object itself. So we have this self and then we have our parameters. We have we know that what are parameters right? Uh, how to write parameters in a function and here we are writing self. Self note that self is the object itself and self dot uh, st uh, student id it it's short form for student id basically so uh, what we are doing here is we are passing parameters like id and branch here and we are assigning a value to it like self dot uh, student id will assign id value to this and branch will as assign branch and then what we are doing is we are creating a, a object and then we are uh, calling the func call we are creating an object basically and then we are passing the parameters in itself in while creating an object so what init function do so init is uh, we don't have to call like init explicitly like we used we used to call functions in an class explicitly by writing it so but in in it we don't have to call it explicit explicitly it is already called uh, through the object itself and what we are doing here is we are passing the arguments here like the id of the student is stu 101 and uh, its branch is computer science so here let's run it and yes that's you can see it runs uh, perfectly fine and uh, the uh, uh, stew id is uh, assigns id to this and when we are printing the attributes so here what we are doing is uh, if we want to print the attributes we have to write the name of the attribute which we have like assigned to it like we have to uh, write student one dot stew id and stu student one branch if we we'll do like id only like suppose i have taken id here so and i try to run it then it gives us an error because it should be mentioned properly like to id and now we run it it works fine so basically the uh, funda of init function is uh, it calls uh, it is a self calling function we don't have to explicitly call it so this was a init function and now let's take another example uh, here I have created a class student and I am passing parameters like first name and last name and I have assigned self dot f name is equals to first name. Uh, here what you can do is we you can write any other name you can assign any name to it and you if you want you can also write like first name so it's on your choice but note that when you are uh, calling it like to print and you are calling it so you have to write the same attribute as you have given it to self dot that whatever the attribute you have given so note that and yes so here we are creating an uh, object s1 student and we are pass passing shreya roy uh, two arguments basically and then we are printing s1 dot f name s1 dot l name so you can see the result like let's run it again and okay that's one yeah yeah uh it gives an error let me okay let's uh, run it because it was not run that's why it gives an error yeah uh here it uh, gives us the result correct and now what i am doing is i am changing the attribute like i'm changing the value of attribute we here i have taken at shreya and now i am changing the first name so it is possible to change the value of attribute whenever you want 
like here I am assigning s1 dot f name is equals to Kriti and now I am pr printing s1 dot f name so yeah it's work works perfectly fine because it is possible like in next uh, example I am changing both f name and l name I am assigning Rohit Sen and let's run this it works fine so you can do this it is possible in Python to change the values of the attributes now what we are doing is we are trying to delete our attribute so uh, for that you have a keyword del which stand for delete and to delete an attribute you have to assign like object dot attribute name so let's run this now it uh, it runs now how will you know that whether you have deleted an attribute or not so now i am printing s1 dot f name let's run it and let's check whether it's deleted or not yes so here it says that student object has no attribute f name so delete function does what delete does is it deletes the attribute and it's no longer present in our method like we here we have taken init method so it's no longer present in our init method so you can uh, delete whatever attribute you want to delete but uh, i have deleted f name only and if i run for l name like it runs fine so you can do you can delete attributes in python and now what i am doing is i am deleting the object so you can do that do the same with the help of keyword del let's run it and yes uh, our s our, our s1 object is deleted now if you try to print s1 f name s1 l name it it will show error that name s1 is not defined because we have deleted it now i have taken another example here uh, i have created a class circle and you can also write write like this like object inside the class so it basically it's just for uh, like this it indicates that you are passing an object and that's fine uh, you know how to implement that right and here i am uh, creating an attribute and i'm already i have already assigned a value to our attribute you can do that it's possible and i have two methods here one it init method and second one is area so in init i am what i'm passing is self and radius you know that you have to pass self and i am assigning self dot radius is equals to radius whatever radius we are passing inside while creating an object and i have another function for um, area and it return circle dot pi into self dot radius self dot radius so uh, what here you know that the area is to pi r square right the pi r square so circle dot pi is the is attribute which we have assigned and self dot radius here like here you have assigned the value so it basically returns pi r square now what we are doing is we are creating an object of this class circle and we are passing a 10 10 is the radius because we know that what while uh, creating a circle what we need we need radius so we are passing radius and in init method also we have given radius so we are passing radius and c dot pi so what c dot pi pi is an attribute c is an object so c dot pi will give us the value which we have assigned to pi so let's run this and then this so you can see the result it gives us the value of pi which we have already assigned and uh, now we call the area function uh, area function is not an init function so we have to call it explicitly and let's run this and yes here is the result that it gives us the area of our circle so this was all about init functions and whatever uh, you can do with our attributes you can delete you can assign your values you can modify them and yeah that's all with the uh, classes and objects and now we are uh, 
saying one more thing here so what what if you don't want you want to create a class but you don't want to give any method or any attributes so what you can do then you you have a pass uh, like you have pass function basically what it does it does it like a uh, interpreter reads it it's basically null it does it do nothing but it won't give an error if you don't write any code otherwise if you're just creating a class then it will give you an error here i have uh, shown this that we have a class student and we are writing pass and pass doesn't uh, do anything but the interpreter reads it and uh, you don't get any error basically so class definitions cannot be empty but if you if you for some reason have a class definition with no content put in the pass function to avoid getting an error and so to avoid compilation errors we can use the pass statement now i here i have taken an example here we have a class here we have a uh, definition basically you you can use it in class also and in a function also so you can use it both ways here suppose i have taken a function or a method uh, addition which takes two parameters num1 and num2 and i have written pass statement and i have uh, also uh, called i am also calling the function to addition to comma 2 so like let's run it okay as you can see it doesn't give any error like if you have not written any code inside the addition but it also doesn't give any error what if we don't write pass function let me comment this let me delete this okay and now i run it expected an indented block so it gives us an error but if we write pass function it works perfectly fine so pass in a pass uh, yeah, you can use in method or in function wherever you want so uh, guys this was all about object classes in it method and functions pass statement so uh, go ahead and implement this and thank you everyone